Hey guys, Stell here, and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. No campaign fit today, but just a battle between a lonely French battleship and a slightly more modern German fleet. There has been a request to do another revisit of the French quad barrel guns. The quad barrel turrets. So let's have a look at what I can design. The enemy is a battleship, two heavy cruisers, two lights, and four destroyers. So I'm going to need a bit of everything. Although, with the increased barrel length, that might not even be true. Because you can get some really ludicrous amounts of accuracy with that new level of accuracy. Or with that new level of uh, barrel length. Now, the Super Battleship 2 is a bit big. Super Battleship 1 still goes up to 85,000 tons and has, I think, essentially all the spots that I would need to put secondaries on, considering the threat that we're up against. Now, uh, let's not go with 100% crew. Let's say that this is a seasoned level crew. This is a fast battleship. I'm going to try and make it 35 knots. And maybe not 77,000 tons. 70,000 tons is fine. The ship is designed to go and go everywhere. Uh, it's a spacious quarters, so we have a lot of crew. Let's go with the most advanced armor. Um, the theory about this ship is that she's able to outrun slash outmaneuver enemy torpedoes. So I'm going to make sure that with an anti-torpedo 2 I still have some protection, but ideally I won't need too much. The tower that we can get, the best tower, is the Light Modern Tower 9 Enhanced. Has some spots to put secondary guns on. Might be able to use these open spaces here too. Secondary tower. I think the Light Modern Secondary Tower gives me the most room. This just does not fit on a battleship my size. So, we're going to go with this. Okay, Krupp armor check. Reinforced bulkheads 1. Uh, it's a slightly older design, but it still checks out. We're going to go with the Turtleback armor scheme. Anti-flood. Um, since we're out running and dodging torpedoes, it's going to be electro-hydraulic steering. It's going to be the best propeller shaft that money can buy. And we're going to go with an electric battery. An electric battery. Oil 2. Um, when it comes to engines, turbo electric drive is fun to use because it allows for acceleration and deceleration, which I think for this ship is in line with what I'm thinking. It's in line with the ability of the ship to quickly speed up, slow down, and thus throw torpedoes off. Let's go with balanced boilers for 90% engine efficiency. It's not as good as I'd hoped. Something else that I'm looking into is that I already used 60,000 of my 70,000 tons. I haven't added a sonar station yet. I haven't added a radar system yet. I don't even have a rangefinder, but more importantly, I don't have a single gun. Um, Antitorp 1. Still problematic. I think it's the speed. Yes, it's the speed. 30. 2, 33 knots. Is the, this is fine. 34 knots jumps. So let's say 33 knots. Still get 10,000 tons for guns. What sort of guns would be reasonable? How about a couple of quad 14s? These are nice Mark three guns. I can get a lot of range on them. I can still get a fairly good reload, especially with the amount of displacement that I have left. I should be able to make these things work. So let's go with a quad there and a quad there. Gives me a hideous amount of aft weight offset. But we're not done. Because I'm going to go for semi-auto loaders. Do these things not weigh anything or something? Oh, that's the deal. That's the deal. Okay. Situation here. Um, on the section's overview, by the way, I think you can see what the aft weight offset is currently. Which is heavy. Huh. See, by adding this turret, the citadel has been shrinking. And because of that, the whole ship sort of shifts backwards. Because my citadel is so small. If I remove this turret, the citadel extends to about here. <clears throat> and that's sort of balancing the ship out, believe it or not. So, oof. Balancing this ship out is going to be tricky. How do I balance this out? See, the good news is, if I remove this turret, I'm actually using less displacement because the citadel and the armoring for the citadel has been shrinking. So that gives me options. Means I could go with bigger guns. Hmm. 
we're 1930. I think 18, 19, and 20 is uh, just Mark 1, so they're not that interesting. 17 is a Mark 2, 16 is a Mark 3. 16 inch guns can probably do a lot of damage in this era. They can do a, da a lot of damage in any era, but in this era they might be a bit overpowered. Good. Capped ballistic shells. How do you balance out one of these French boats? Because I'm still going to add secondaries here. Okay, can we do quads? We cannot do quads. You can do quad fours. Uh, uh, might not be that bad. If I can get quad four inches, and I up the barrel length on the four inches to 20%, and that gives me a range of almost 14 kilometers. <laughs> That's no slouch. That means that this thing can probably start wiping out battleships. Well, not battleships. It can at least start wiping out destroyers at a far greater range than normal. So let's make sure that those things also have some teeth. Bit of base fuse HE, giving them a decent amount of HE pen at 0.4 inches at 10,000 meters. If I go all the way capped ballistic 2, it's going to make the secondaries more effective, but it's going to make the main guns, I think, potentially too powerful. You're going to get over pens. So I'm going to reduce that to capped. Uh, if I go capped ballistic HE, for the main guns, you get a ton of HE power. For the secondaries, hmm, not so sure. Let's see, if I push this forward. Jesus, still 30% aft? Look at how far I have extended this citadel to the bow. I think this is one of the problems that the beta is going to have. And I'm really curious to see how they're going to fix this thing. Because as it stands, this is going to be problematic. I don't really know... How to balance this ship out, other than either taking off all the armor on the stern, or adding a massive nose. Like a 20, I don't know, 25 inch bell, bow. Look at that, I'm still, still heavy on the stern. Jesus. <sighs> okay, um, boost that. Yes, now the ship is overweight. Go figure. Give me a 8-inch um, main belt. No. What's my aft deck strength? 4.9. Make that 3. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. Yeah, this is about 0.6 per tick. Okay. Okay. It's still a 25-inch main belt. Who does that? Or 4 belt. Plus 144%. We're looking at 54, 55 inches of armor. On the nose. That is crazy, even for my standards. Like I have standards. Um, yes. See, if this thing is going to outrun torpedoes, I might as well make sure that I have some armaments on the stern. Ideally, it would be sort of a bow-in shooter that determines the range and then every once in a while turns um, to just make her guns useful. What if I just make the ship bigger? Like that. Now I have a 4 offset. That's fine. But I might be able to use more of these turrets. More turrets is always nice. Because what I really like about the French is that you can have this sort of... Um, yeah, like this. This sort of descending secondary armament. Which is a lot of firepower. It just doesn't really sit very well there. Aft weight offset is now fairly dramatic. <laughs> Seriously. These weigh 176 tons. But they must do something crazy to the Citadel. Because if I remove this, it's 30%. And I guess they're pretty far to the edge of the ship. Whatever. It's not that bad. Oh, this is going to be a tricky ship to use. Well, no. 
rephrase. The ship is probably going to be very comfortable to use. I think it's going to be a great ship. It's just really damn difficult to balance it out. Pitch, 45%. Roll, 30%. After some balancing, this is sort of the ship that we're going to end up with. Uh, the long dock is capable of doing her 33 knots. She's capable of going very far at 13,000 kilometers. Her armor scheme is weird. Her main armor belt, which is essentially from, well, it's covering the citadel, is um, 10 inch, plus 144. But four armor belts, 20 inches. This bow, very heavily protected. Main deck, 9 inch. Four deck, 6.1 inch, but the aft, 3 inch belt, 3 inch aft deck. She is poorly protected when you're looking at her from the back. I had to take off the 4 inch guns, the, the whole pyramid thing that I had going here. Sadly, it just doesn't fit. But the 6 inchers stay. So I got 6 inchers firing forward and aft. And if I go somewhat broadside, these 6 inchers can still pack a very decent punch. Reload, 10 seconds. Range, maximum range, 19.3 for AP, 19.6 for HE. I'm expecting these things to be mostly HE, um, but I'm going to, yeah, actually, yeah, that's there, increased HE. So, let's see if this thing will take on the Germans and win, despite a high pitch and a high roll. The long dock immediately has contact with the enemy. Now, I'm going to do something I generally don't do, I'm going to put the whole ship in reverse. We are going to reverse as much as possible. We're going to go for the standard World of Warships tactic, essentially. Which is to just reverse, if you have a bow-in shooter. This did cause some damage to the Long Dock's engine number two, but that was very quickly remedied. So, thankfully to the turboelectric drive, we can... Well, we can fairly decently turn, you think. Oh, is this our stopping point? That might be our stopping point. Yeah, nice try. Oh, that was the main deck of all things. Okay. 34% accuracy. Let's see what we're actually shooting at. This is one of their heavy cruisers. Interesting design. Uh, I like the German... Well, this is even more of a triangular pyramid tower than I have on the stern. 11.1 inch guns. Big guns on a heavy cruiser. And of course, with the new beta, you can turn that up into 11.9, giving you a ton of firepower for a cruiser. It's just that that seems to be the only thing that they have. They have another 2-inch gun. Well, they have three single 2-inch guns, but no torpedoes whatsoever. The battleship. What you got there? ABX, 14.1-inch guns, 8.2s on secondaries, and quite a few of them. 12 times 2 4.3 inch guns and a bunch of 3.6ers. The light cruisers. These are armed with torpedo tubes, bow and stern. Well, midships and stern, essentially. And 6.4 inch guns. And this is the far more interesting threat. The destroyers. Couple of guns. Couple of torpedoes on the stern. Alright, long dock. What are you shooting? Don't tell me you're shooting a heavy cruiser. That would be a waste of time. This is the prize. You can shoot this with the secondaries if you so desire. See, there you go. Now you're catching on. Uh, I believe the long dock is in reverse. Is she not? Yes. <laughs> We're reversing. You may insert your French reversing and retreating jokes down below in the comments. That is unfortunate, taking a hit to the main tower. I can take one. I can take two. I just don't want to take a whole lot, because I'm really quite attached to my main tower. I would really like the tower to be doing, well, what a main tower does, which is spotting, guiding shells, and making sure that my shells remain accurate. I wonder what the game thinks of me reversing. Why are we back to shooting... Oh, sorry, we're still shooting the battleship. Never mind. Um. <laughs> Own cruise speed. Look at that modifier, it's going up. 7.3. That is because we're doing... <laughs> oh, boy. We're going to be doing a fairly high amount of speed in reverse. That's how this is going to work. We're currently doing 14.9, 15 knots in reverse. So, 
yeah. Catch me if you can. Um, I can do up to 33 knots, sorry, 32 knots now in reverse. Because why not? That seems perfectly reasonable. Just casually sailing backwards. Just casually sailing backwards. The question is, can we actually deal damage to that battleship? Because we've done some, but I'm not terribly impressed with it so far. Something else that I'm not terribly impressed with is my armor scheme. Oh, yes, we're doing damage. Because so far, the nose has not really been on the receiving end of damage. That has been the deck. Four deck overpen. Main deck penetration. You're not seeing any of the four belts. Simply because the shells are coming in in too great an angle. Yeah, partial pens. Identification is going to take me a while because of the almost 20 kilometer range. Look at this. <laughs> Whee! Maybe I should make one of those reverse sounds. I might do that in editing. Anyway. Um, can we get a couple of hits to slow this guy down so he doesn't close the distance anymore? Also, put some secondaries on this destroyer group that's coming in. I don't really feel like I need to be acquainted with those things up close. Whoa, 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 whoa! Don't be reversing too much now, or don't be angling too much. Yes, you're doing good damage against this battleship. Four deck penetration, very nice. We got our six inches <laughs> Throwing some shells in the general direction of the enemy, but accuracy is awful because they're inside of a smokescreen. Also, target fast speed. Uh, target inside of smoke is 25% debuff. Yeah, let's go for the at least bigger target in the form of the Regensburg. Regensburg armed with 18-inch torpedoes, which can range 9 kilometers. So that means the torpedoes can go to here. I am reversing... Well, I'm going to be reversing the fastest bit away from this ship as possible. Because I really don't want to be here. Uh, train the main guns on the Regensburg. Load the high explosive shells. And show me what you can do against a poorly armored light cruiser. And I don't mean that in a derogatory term because all cruisers all, or light cruisers are essentially poorly armored. Turn a bit. Give me five degrees right rudder. Go on. Stop vaping. Need to get some shells in. Uh, doing battle in reverse. Only the French. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Okay, what do these guys have, torpedo-wise? 9.9 kilometer range. 62 and a half knots. Oh, you got the fast ones, huh? You got the fast ones. Oh, you missed entirely. Disappointing. Battleship, Hildebrandt. 189 million, that's uh, a steal compared to this 563 million reverse boat. And standard bulkheads, cramped quarters. Look at that ship. That's pretty damn well balanced for the AI. Normally they're fairly terrible. I'm seeing longitudinal weight of sets of 100 most of the time. But this guy is really well balanced. Props to the AI. Uh, Regensburg, you might have seen it, took a couple of really big hits. And does appear to be licking her wounds and not coming any closer. Well, I think she's just about done. There. Okay, then. Um, oh, You guys are vaping again? Welcome to the Destroyer and Light Cruiser Vape Club. Look at these guys. Another bit of props to the AI. Oh, fuck. This guy launched torpedoes. Um, swing the stern. Whoa. There. Here. Here. Whoop, don't swing the stern too much. I have no idea if the AI is capable of arming, no, aiming torpedoes, considering my ship is reversing. What the f- <laughs> Okay, perfect. Keep it up. Keep it up, keep it up. Structural integrity has dropped to 78%, but otherwise we're fine. Be the main guns on the Frankfurt. And the rest of the guns... 
Well, you're free to engage the DDs, because I really don't need these things to close in too much. The V1's out of Torps, V4 still has Torps, V3 and V2 does not. Okay, so these two have Torps. Go on. Get some shells in on that cruiser. Now's your chance. We're nicely broadside. Yes, sir. That's the deal. Right there. 3,400 damage. Frankfurt is very thoroughly disabled. And might succumb to her wounds. Excellent. That destroyer essentially is not a threat. Let's go for something that is. So we're going to put the Sixers and the Fours on the V3. And there goes the Frankfurt. Very good work. There is another heavy cruiser pushing in here, the Hansa. Let's give the Hansa the good news. Because I don't really want another heavy cruiser coming close. Why are you so poorly armed? You're just a pretty shit ship. I generally try to go for some form of synergy when I design a ship, but the Hansa does not have that. The Hansa has an okay speed for a heavy cruiser, but she has a torpedo blister anti-torp 5. That's a massive amount of torpedo reduction. The only thing that she does not have is fast firing secondary guns. If I build a heavy cruiser with this much torpedo protection, I would want to make sure that she's capable of taking the fight to the DDs. I would want her to be a bit faster. I would want her to be moderately heavily armored on superstructure, like three inches or so. And I would want her to have a lot more secondary guns. I think they maxed out the Hansa's displacement simply by having that anti-torpedo blister. Which, well, it's great, but with 11-inch guns that reload as quickly as these, you generally don't want to inspect destroyers up close because you're just very, very likely to start getting your ass handed to you. Also, we generally can't pen this thing. Go for the high explosive versus the Hansa. High explosive muzzle velocity is over a thousand. It's a very fast high explosive shell. Oh, I don't like this. We are done reversing. We're through running from these bastards. Turbo electric drive. Forwards the word. Forward we go. We are done running away from these bastards. Let's go. There. Nuke that cruiser. Finish that destroyer. <laughs> oh man. This is why I love turbo electric drive. It's... Well, the reason why I don't generally use it in campaigns is because they make for awfully expensive ships. I don't like that. I really don't like that. The V3... The V3 is properly disabled. Let's go for the V4. Are you done? No, you're not done, probably. Go on. Hans is trying to return. She's trying to get back to her battleship. Speaking of... Give me armor piercing and start shooting the battleship. She's nicely broadside. That was not really as much as I'd expected. Uh, switch the... F no, never mind. Don't really care what we're shooting, because all the secondaries... Well, the secondaries are essentially free to engage with whatever the hell they like. Because the DDs are out of torpedoes. So let's take the closest one first. Just because it's easier to hit. We are going to have to start to take steps to deal with this battleship. Because she's really doing me in. She's done about half of the damage that the enemy fleet has done combined. The Hansa is slowly adding up to the damage. Can we rotate the guns? Oh shit, my rudder's taking a hit. That was a partial? No, sorry, that was an overpen. We're doing too much damage. High explosive. I don't want this spammer here. Oh, she's firing AP. Yeah, but I'm too close. Hmm. More like it. Hildebrandt is firing armor piercing as well. Let's use that bow in armor, shall we? Could you shoot me? It's gonna sound weird, but could you shoot me? I wanna see what this does. Boink. 
Ricochet. There's the shell. That's the shell that came off of this trajectory. Here. And there's the shell. Boink! That's the heavily armored bow. The issue is, I'm turning to try and deal with the battleship, but I'm sort of exposing the rest of the ship to the heavy cruisers. Which arguably shouldn't really have that much of an opportunity to pin me anyway. Oh, they really cannot do much. But, here's the big problem. I will overshoot my target in more ways than one. I will overshoot because my shells are too good. And I will overshoot the battleship, causing the stern of the long dock to be exposed to the battleship. That's something I do not want. But it's something that is, at the moment, fairly unavoidable. Um... We're just gonna have to suffer through it. Oof. Me AP. Blow me a couple of really big holes in that battleship, please. No, angle, 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 angle. Can't shoot it anymore. Main guns on the Hansa. Boom. Destroy the main gun, destroy the funnel. No, correction, damage the main gun. See, now I'm gonna start to take a lot of hits. And with a damaged rudder, I can't turn very well. Go on, Hansa. Okay, she's gone. Um, yep, guns over the shoulder. Hard over to starboard. There's a lot of fire on this ship. I can barely see my main guns anymore. Long dock. Turn, 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 turn. Use the main belt. Block those incoming 14 inchers, which are going to cause all sorts of massacres against my ship right now. Yeah, that's pretty okay. I need more, though. I need a full flooding. Because at this rate, I want to have a ship left. Hard to starboard. Try and get that bow in position back. The bottom is going to be annoying, but not deadly. Flooding. I'll take it. Yes. Overpen? Get out of here. Well, partial pens. Some overpens, though, against the four... Deck? The four deck? How? My turrets aren't that tall. And this guy isn't that small. How are we hitting the four deck? Makes no sense. At least not to me. Okay. Get him. Boom. Partial pens and overpens. Just like World of Warships. <clears throat> Give me high explosive then. It's going to do less damage. At least less flooding chance, I think. Let's see what we get. Oh, my poor ship. Come on. I've lost 20% of my crew. I've lost 10. Shoot him! Ah, flooding. Excellent. It's just not going fast enough. It's just not going fast enough. Come on, speed up. You have all your engines. Please make it look like you're trying. Full ahead flank. We can go to 18.6, 18.4. Yeah, I'll take it. I mean, the secondaries on the DDs. The main guns are still really trying to hit the battleship, but it's behind me. Fine, let's eliminate a destroyer while we're at it. Because the guns cannot really be turned anyway. Oh boy. I don't think I'm going to win this. Still though, running away from the enemy at 33 knots. Something only the French would do. Sorry France, I like you guys. Just mandatory memeing, you know? Go on. Go on. Bit of damage. On the DD. One hit. 16 inch, high explosive. It's gonna be grand if that hits. Do it! No! Oh, with this rudder and my constant turning, I cannot speed up enough. How many hits have I taken? Jesus. Almost 5,000? Okay. Speed? 13 knots. I'll take it. 
Trying to get some distance. Secondaries on the V1. Uh, give me the mains on the heavy cruiser. Thankfully, all these DDs don't carry a lot of reloads. If they had, it would have been a problem. Baden taking some damage there. Come on. Survive. I know you're struggling. Now the Hildebrand is in a very good position, just pummeling the ship from behind it. And she's just doing a fantastic job taking shot after shot after shot at this very poorly protected stern. Aft belt 3 inch. I'm slightly angled, which is helpful. Six and a half thousand hits. Probably seven before the battle is over. Oh boy. Come on, can we finish off another heavy cruiser? No, because the ship is too heavily listing. My guns are essentially pointed down at the water. Ooh. This is unfortunate. <laughs> the ship is so sad. <laughs> Look at that. The ship is so sad. I don't want to fight anymore. Oh, don't worry. Soon you won't have to. I gotta say, for the amount of shells that I've taken, which is about 7,000, I'm surprised that I only lost about 26% of my crew. Could have been a lot worse. Anyway, there goes the ship. Sadly. But, had fun. So, uh, what do we get? We got two light cruisers, we got the Hansa, or the, the, yeah, we got the Hansa, the other cruiser survived. And one destroyer got badly damaged. The battleship really didn't take that much damage. That was their, um... No, I'm the long dog. Um, I don't know why you don't get the name anymore. I mean, I identified the ship. They took a fair amount of damage, but survived. So they did well enough. My ship ended up with almost 7,000 hits. She did a lot of damage as well. It was not enough. It was not enough. Anyway, interesting adventure. Balancing out a quad barrel ship. Um, forward facing firepower on this new 1.06 beta. As I was recording the vid, off screen, I sent in a bug report to hopefully get this issue addressed. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any further suggestions for videos, let me know down below. I'll see you soon for more videos.